Hey, welcome back to Bridal Sewing Techniques, and today we're going to talk about how do we fix the bride's shoes so that the rhinestones don't rip the wedding gown. Are you someone who has experience with a mix of sewing, but is looking to get into the bridal niche? This channel is for you. As you know, this channel is all about bridal gown alterations, but sometimes we have to help with other problems too. So here's some popular shoe style that has the rhinestones that have these prongs, they're the sew-on stones, and well, you might as well let a cat play with the bottom of the wedding gown. Um, the tool gets caught on the prongs that hold the stone in place. So oftentimes we'll get asked, is there some quick, affordable, quick fix um, that will keep this from happening. Uh, so basically, if the bride walks around with them unfixed, it's almost like Velcro effect there at the bottom of her dress, and things will get really messy really quick. So I'm going to show you two different ways to fix. Uh, one is going to be um, to sew on um, a, a sew-through fabric, which leathers actually can be sew-through, but I like for this to be a reversible fix um, because we don't want to permanently change the shoe. So I'm just showing you, I'm using a long bended beaded needle and a very light thread. I'll give you thread information in a little bit. Um, and I'm just going to stitch this down all the way around. I just laid a piece of tool illusion over where the pronged beads occur, where these rhinestones are occurring. And I'm just going to stitch basically an outline and go all around that. And I've sped it up just so things aren't boring. I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to show you one other technique. Like I said, I want it to be reversible. Here's the information on the thread that I'm using. And I'll put information about that down below too. So we're tacking this down. Um, this is obviously a very easy shoe to sew through. Um, I really wouldn't be too keen to do this. Like I said, you could do it on leather. I really wouldn't want to do it on leather or a fabric shoe because it would show. So my second technique is going to show you what to do with that. This is something super temporary and reversible. As you can see, the tool is very, very sheer. It's just going to diffuse, you know, the, the look of the shoe is just going to be slightly diffused. It's not going to be... Um, hindered at all. Now I'm just going to put hypo cement on the knot only. I will make sure it does not touch the shoe in any way. And then we're going to trim around the edge. And I left maybe an eighth of an inch around there. And then also go back, you know, you're going to hold the shoe up. Anything else that stands out as, um, as showing and needing to be trimmed, just clean that up and it'll look fine. So here the left is the original, the right is the one with the diffusion layer. You can see I need to trim just a little bit more on it. I do warn the brides ahead of time if they want a very detailed shoe shot to take the shoes first to their photographer, have the shoe shots done, and then bring them back for us to put the tool on. So here's the second method. This is what I actually do most often. I will lay the tool over. These blue dots are representing where I'm going to use a very low temp hot glue gun. And I'm only going to put a little tiny dot of glue on the flat top facet of the stone. Don't get it down in the settings or make a big mess or have strings or anything like that. Just be very gentle and use just a very little bit. With it being low temp, she can just pick them right off the stones after the wedding so that the shoes can be reused. I hope this has helped you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also, in the comments down below, tell me how you've solved this little problem because I know we've all faced it. I know what you're looking for. You've been sewing for years, but you want to get into full-time bridal sewing. But there's something missing. You're missing the backroom secrets, the industry tips and tricks. The tools the sources, the techniques that give you the speed and the accuracy that the industry demands.
you have found it. 